Hi there. It's September 18th and time for Proverbs 18. Let's jump over there. We got the 1599 Geneva Bible and we're comparing it with the New American Standard. And I've already found something that's different in every other version. So the see who separates himself seeks his own desire. He quarrels against all sound wisdom. Breaks out or quarrels. Every other version <clears throat> leads towards the thinking that a person who separates himself is like a hermit who doesn't want any wisdom or doesn't want any friends or stuff like that. But in the 1599 Geneva Bible, the first English translation, it says, For the desire thereof he will separate himself to seek out and occupy himself in all wisdom. <clears throat> Let's see what they say about separate. He that loveth wisdom will separate himself from all impediments and give himself wholly to seek it. Okay. Now, this is saying something different than the other Bible. This is saying that it's good to get by yourself and separate yourself to seek wisdom from God and study. It hasn't said that in any of the other versions I've studied, you know, like it's a good thing. <clears throat> Interesting, huh? I'm not seeing the version's wrong. It's just, it's just interesting. Two, a fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may be discovered. He may talk, and you can never. <clears throat> that is, that he may talk in licentiously of whatsoever cometh to mind. Wow. Fool is not delight in understanding, but only in revealing his own mind. Fool hath no delight in understanding, but his heart may be discovered. His own mind. <clears throat> A different one. Three, when the wicked cometh, then cometh contempt, and with the vile man reproach. Meaning, such as one contemneth all others. Right. Honor comes scorn, the wicked man comes contempt. <clears throat> okay. Or the words of a man's mouth are like deep waters, and the wellspring of wisdom is like a flowing river. Basically the same. Which can never be drawn empty, but bring ever profit. Right. <laughs> words of mouth are like deep waters. They never run out, right? That's what that means. They never run out. Five, it is not good to accept the person of the wicked to cause the righteous to fall in judgment. Partiality, I like that better. See what that That is to favor him and support him, right? <clears throat> Favor the wicked over the righteous. It's not good to favor the wicked over the righteous in judgment. More judges, right? But they do favor the wicked sometimes. Six, a fool's lips come with strife, and his mouth calleth for stripes. I'm going to replace this mouse because it's not working. <clears throat> so, fool's lips come with strife, trouble, and his mouth calls for stripes, blows. Okay. Fools like to shoot out their mouth until somebody punches them. <clears throat> and why a fool's mouth is his own destruction, and his lips are a snare for his soul. Mm -hmm. Eight, the words, <clears throat> the words of a 
tail bearer or as flatterings, and they go down into the bowels of the belly. Right. Let's see if my mouse will work. It thinks it's double clicking when it's not. Let's see. Well, look, let's just highlight everything. Come on. This is gossip, okay? We always talk about gossip because I hate gossip. Okay? The words of a whisperer or a gossip are as flattering or dainty morsels. They go down to the, into the bowels of the belly. They are soon believed and enter most deeply. Right. <clears throat> Tell somebody gossip, you spread rumors, and those people are going to believe what you're telling them whether it's true or not. And it's like a drug. It's addictive. You got to get more and more and more. It's a billion dollar industry. Gossip is a billion dollar industry. People telling other people's business, they have no reason, no, no business knowing somebody else's business, but they're telling you anyways, and you got to get more and more and more. Drama, drama, drama. God hates those things, and so do I. And we could talk for an hour on that. Okay, verse 9. He also that is slothful in his work even is even the brother of him that is a great waster. Right. And the one we're used to, he who is slack in his work is brother to him who destroys. Right. If you're lazy, you might as well just be somebody who is a waster or destroys things. All right. 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth unto it and is exalted. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right. What's this note? He showeth that he, that what is the refuge of the godly against all trouble? Right. Good stuff. The name of the Lord. Okay, you got that? Use his name if you're a Christian. Eleven, the rich man's riches are his strong city. And as a high wall in his imagination. You got that? In his imagination. He thinks his money's going to save him, but you've seen rich people fall, right? Fall and fall. There were a rich person was just arrested the other day and went to court yesterday and he's in a lot of trouble. His money won't save him. So, in their own imagination. <clears throat> Well, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty, and before glory, go with lowliness. Humility goes before honor. I always like that. They're calling it lowliness. Humble is lowliness. This mouse is going to give me nothing but trouble today, huh? Mm -hmm. We will take the batteries out of my mouse. Put them back in. Let's see if that makes a difference. Just for a bit, huh? Okay. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. Okay. Word for word. Haughty, proud, arrogant, 
right? And before glory go goeth lowliness, right? Humility comes before honor, right? Before glory goes humbleness, right? One of the attributes God likes more than any other one is humbleness. He loves the humble. He said Moses was the most humble man who ever lived. And he came to greatness being humble. Hmm. <clears throat> he that enters a matter before he hear it, it is folly and shame to him. Give us an answer before he hears. Well, that happens in arguing all the time, doesn't it? Hmm? Comes in arguing all the time. You don't even hear. You won't even let them finish speaking and you're breaking in and trying to correct them. All right? You're supposed to be slow to speak, quick to listen. All right? It says that in James, I believe. Slow to speak. That means not formulating your answer while the other person is speaking. You're supposed to listen to everything they say. And then after you hear everything they say, then formulate your answer and then respond. Okay? You don't answer a matter before you hear the whole thing. Hmm. It's folly, foolishness, and shame unto you that do that. Hmm. 14. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity, but a wounded spirit, who can bear it? Right. Your human spirit will sustain your sickness or your injury, but if your spirit is wounded, who can bear it? It's a hard thing to bear. That's the kind of thing that drives people to suicide, right? The mind can well bear the infirmity of the body, but when the spirit is wounded, it is a thing most hard to sustain. Right? There's a lot of people with wounded spirits out there, right? Fifteen, a wise heart getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh learning. Hmm. A wise person is always learning. Hmm? It's simple. A wise heart seeks knowledge. 16. A man's gift enlargeth him and leadeth him before great men. <laughs> enlargeth him. How do you like that? Getteth him liberty to speak in favor of them that are most in estimation or esteem. You notice how people bring gifts when they're talking to a president or the or a head of state or you know, or something. They bring a gift. Right? <clears throat> and some people do. What's it say over here? A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. Seventeen, he that is first in his own cause is just. Then cometh his neighbor and maketh inquiry of him. First person to plead his case seems right until another comes and examines him. Kind of says the same thing. The person who gets to speak, speak first, right? In a, like in a courtroom situation, the one who speaks first. And you think, oh, he's right. Oh, this, or he, this person did this and this and this and this and this thing was over here and he did this and he, and he, and he broke this person's leg and he robbed this bank and he stole this car. And you're thinking, wow, he did all these things. Then came with his neighbor to make an inquiry of him or cross examines him. And somebody else comes forward and says, no, this person did not do these things because he was in another state at that time at his mother's funeral, and I and we have all the documents to prove it. Okay, 
Now, suddenly, the person who spoke first, well, this guy's lying. He's not right at all because he has proof, right? They always seem right until the proof comes, right? That's why in America, the, the one who, who is accusing the accuser always speaks first. And the one who's defend, the dependent always gets the last word, right? Okay. 18. The lot causeth contentions to cease and maketh the partition among the martyr. Cast lost and strife. We was talking about that yesterday. Yeah. Big strong football teams, they will toss a coin to see who goes first and they will honor the decision that the coin decides. At least to cast lots. 19, our brother offended is harder to win than a strong city, and their contingents are like the bar of a palace. Right. If you offend your brother by gossiping, or doing something, getting him back is harder to win than a strong city, okay? If you hurt somebody that way, you won't easily win him back. So don't. Do it in the first place. Learn to keep your mouth shut, right? <laughs> 20. With the fruit of a man's mouth shall his belly be satisfied, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. <laughs> yeah. Be satisfied with the product of his lips, right? What you say comes back at you. Right? What you say comes back at you. That's a simple way to put that whole thing. Hmm? 21. Death and, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Okay, we can't read that because it's blocked. By using the tongue well or evil cometh fruit thereof, either good or bad. Right. Either good or bad. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. We should highlight that. Okay. They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, good or bad. You say bad things, bad things will come. You say good things, good things will come. It's it's really simple. Be kind. Okay. Be kind. Okay. Twenty two. He that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and receiveth favor of the Lord. He that is torn with a virtuous woman in marriage is blessed of the Lord. Proverbs 19. Okay, you notice it says here, wife. Okay. It doesn't say girlfriend. It doesn't say partner. It says wife. He that finds a wife. Okay. Finding a girlfriend is not, okay. Your ultimate thing should be to find a wife. And women, if you want to find the man of your dreams, the man for your life, you need to not be a girlfriend. You need to be a wife, right? And being wife material means overlooking surface things. So he doesn't have a lot of money. So he doesn't have a nice car. He's got a good heart and he loves the Lord. That is husband material. So I, and to be a wife material, you need to do the things a wife would do. Overlook stuff. Look for different qualities. Right? It says it right there. 23. The poor speaketh with prayers, but the rich answereth roughly. That's weird. Huh? The poor man utters supplication, but the rich, rich answers roughly. Right? Answers roughly. Or speak with prayers, but the rich answereth roughly. Right? Some rich people don't care about poor people. They kick them around. You're kicking God when you do that, okay? However you treat a poor person, you are treating God that same way. It says that all over the Bible, okay? 24. A rich man hath friends. A rich man that hath friends ought to show himself friendly, for a friend is nearer than a brother. Mm -hmm. 
A man of too many friends comes to ruin, but there is a friend that who sticks closer than a brother. Hmm. That's the last one here. That is oft time such a fun which are more ready to do pleasure than he that is more bound by duty. Right. A man that hath too many friends ought to show himself friendly. For a friend is nearer than a brother. Right. Friend sticks around. A real friend will stick around no matter what. And a lot of friends are just there for a good time. For a good time. As soon as good times end, they run away. Oh, there you go. What do we highlight in here? <clears throat> highlight it for one. Because it's different than most other versions, right? For the desire thereof, er, for the for the desire thereof, he will separate himself to seek it, and occupy himself in all wisdom. Right? He that loveth wisdom will separate himself from all impediments, and give himself wholly to seek it. And it says here, he who separates himself seeks his own desire. He's selfish. It says right here, somebody who separates themselves and wants to be alone and isolate themselves is selfish. That's what I always read that to mean. But it always says <clears throat> that in the 1599 Geneva Bible, it says, desire to separate yourself is different, right? He that loveth wisdom will separate himself from all impediments and give himself wholly to seek it. If you want to get into the Word, I say just go into your prayer closet, get by yourself, study the Word, just you and God, okay? And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's cleared up. Right? After 12 times, the 13th time clears it up. Six a fool's lips come with strife, and his mouth calleth for stripes. Idiots keep shooting their mouth off until somebody punches them. Yeah. That's in American language. Right? <laughs> that it ate the words of a gossip are as flatterings. They go down into the bowels of the belly. And over here, the words of a whisper or gossip are like dainty morsels. It's like a drug. Okay. That gets in there and grabs you and addicts you to other people's drama and business. Like I said, it's a billion dollar industry. Right? It's one thing to have on the news, this person, their house burned down, you know, and that's terrible. Let's help them. Let's give them what they need. Let's give from our surplus to build them back up. That's a good thing, okay? That's not gossip. But just to say, did you hear what so and so did? Da, 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 da. I could never be like that. That's people eat that up. I mean, it's on the internet. Oh my goodness! You look anywhere on the internet, and it's just all over the place, right? A drug goes down into the bowels of the belly, right? And ten, just a good saying. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth unto it and is exalted or safe. Right, and is safe. Remember that. The name of the Lord. Just his name is a strong tower. It's good stuff. Hmm. Yeah. And that part of 11 we highlighted. <clears throat> the rich man's riches are his, are his strong city and his high wall in his imagination. <laughs> and you think they get rich and they think they are protected by their money, but the money is what destroys them. Right? Love of money will bring you down. Yeah. Some people worship money when it's only a tool. Okay, That's like worshiping my pen. It's just a pen. It can do a lot of damage. right? But it's just a pen. Okay. How about it? 21. Now we get that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, we're up here. Huh? Well, before destruction of the heart of man, uh -huh, the heart of a man is is haughty, arrogant, pride, scuffing. Right? And before glory goeth lowliness or humbleness. Okay? Now these are words lowliness for what we call humble now. Okay? 
humble goes before glory, right? Humility goes before honor, it says over here. <clears throat> right. You want to be lifted up and glorified? Be humble. Mm -hmm. Be humble. And 13, he that answers, he that answereth the matter before he hear it, it is folly and shame unto him. Right. Let somebody finish talking before you break in and try to accuse them of something. Okay? Let them get it out first. Mm -hmm. It's important that you don't be formulating answers in your head while they're speaking, because then you're not going to hear them. Okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, they could be saying, you know, I did this, and then went down there, and I did that. And you're already going to break it in. What did you do? He says, but you didn't let him finish. He said, let me finish. And he did that. But then I realized it was wrong. So I went back, and I fixed it. And I paid him back threefold for what I took. And he was honored and forgave me. You didn't let him finish. Okay? It happens all the time. Okay? Folly and shame. We have that at 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Right. Death and life. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. It says that. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Mm -hmm. You will bring upon yourself what you speak. Okay? Death and life. Okay? It's been a there's a huge movement now of people realizing this and saying, you know what? I'm not going to say, oh, I'm sick, I'm poor, I'm out of work, I've got a headache. You know, I'm not going to say that. There's power in your words. You know, if you say, God's going to bless me, and and I'm healthy, and I'm whole, and I'm saved, and you say these things, there's life and death is in the power of the words. And the step you say, you shall eat the fruit thereof, okay? If you're talking negatively all the time, you're going to eat the fruit of that negativity, okay? If you're speaking positive things all the time, you will eat the fruit of that positivity. There's a word for you. So think about the words you say, the words you think, okay? You change your way of thinking, that would change your entire life. And we talked over wife. He that find a wife findeth a good thing and receiveth favor from the Lord. It doesn't say he who finds a girlfriend, right? Or he who finds a temporary partner, a wife. A wife is a person who loves you wholly for what you are, not what you have, for the person you are, not the person you appear to be, okay? Not, not your muscles, okay? They will love you when you're flabby or when you're muscular. They love the heart. They love the heart for the Lord. All right? Think about that. So there you go. That is Proverbs 18 for September 18th. Lots of good stuff there. So stay tuned later today. We are still seeing where we're at here. Ezra. We're still in Ezra. He was a, a priest from the line of Aaron when they moved they finally going back to Jerusalem and rebuilding Jerusalem. And he was, he led a people, a group of people, and they were into that. We're getting into the end times right before Jesus now in that. So at the end of the month, we're going to start talking about Jesus. So you want to be around for that. But there you go. Give us a like if you think about it. And remember, stay humble. Say good things. See you next time.